Hey everybody, it's Chris Tometric here from TDW Woodworks. I'm in the process of making a small little shelving unit that's going to house my uh, pneumatic nails and fasteners and um, its accessories and whatnot. And I'm in the process of making this neat little shelving unit, but I realized I'm going to need to have some shelf poles on there. So I was trying to come up with an idea of how to turn them. They don't have to be completely 100% identical, but I like to get them all kind of similar. So I came up with a good technique to make these small little pulls um, on the lathe. And I figured one on each side would look nice. So I thought I'd show you my technique on how to make these little, little drawer pulls on the lathe. Um, as uniform as I can make them without having a duplicator. Um, and uh, well anyways, let's, let's show you what I did. Alright, let's start out. We're just going to get a little piece of uh, hardwood here. I think I've got some birch. And you're just going to round it over so we can start with a clean slate. So in order to be consistent, I'm going to grab a ruler here so I can make sure I can get my uh, 10 handles out of it. Now I'm uh, marking out at 1 inch each, even though they're only going to be a half an inch. I want to mark it out and parting tool out there and, uh, and uh, notch everything out so we can have even looking handles. So what I'm using as a parting tool is I had this old knife from my grandma's uh, house and it's a really awful kitchen knife but I ground it down and cut it down so that it would make a good parting tool. It stays sharp and it's a nice thin kerf uh, when you uh, use it as a parting tool. Well, what I'm doing is now marking out the half inch spaces. Uh, and uh, gonna mark those out so that that will be the high part and I will cut my uh, knobs to the left of each of those lines just so we could try to be as even as possible. So what I'm doing is if you see to the left of each line there is a angle of whatever degree it is and I'm just trying to match that one by one visually eyeing it again it doesn't have to be perfect unless you're in production but I just take my time one by one and cut them and try to match the curve behind and then I'll go over and cut each one of those out So what you see here is me just uh, using a pencil to mark out the area that I'm going to be cutting off just so that when I get to the bandsaw I'll know exactly which is the waist and which is the knob. And now you can see the knob is much better. See now what you have here is we've got the individual knobs and the black part is what we're going to cut away. So we'll bring this right over here. Alright, so one by one I cut them off, I bring it over, I sand it, and I cut that one off. Use a little push block to make it easier. And I got my first little handle. And then I just continue the step, I bring it over and I sand it down flat so it will fit nice and uh, snug and round it over with the little sanding pad. And continue on until all of them are done and ready to be attached.
All right, there she is all put together, ready to be loaded up with fasteners and nails from my uh, pneumatic uh, nail guns and all the accessories. So I appreciate you watching it and get out that uh, lathe if you want to make some handles. And thanks for watching. This is Chris from TDW Woodworks.